Hello, welcome to question 9 from example sheet 1. You can also might have seen this particular question on slide 35 of the A conditioning PowerPoint slides. Um, basically, it's a simple question where we have air that's first heated and then passes through an evaporative cooler. Um, series of values are given, um, so we're at point one, we're given a temperature of 15 degrees C and a relative humidity of 60%. Um, point two, we're given a temperature of 30 degrees C after the air is heated and at point three, we are given final temperature which drops slightly to 25 degrees C. Now think about this um, as we've covered before process 1 to 2 is a heating process therefore specific humidity is going to remain constant so we know omega 1 is equal to omega 2. Um, also think about process two to three this is an evaporative cooling process therefore T wet bulb two is equal to T wet bulb three and enthalpy at two is equal to enthalpy at three um, you can see this Reminder of this from the notes on slide 33. Um, and you can also find more information on the recommended textbook about this as well. Okay, so um, you've got these values here, T1, T2. So using chart A31, you're able to find omega 1, which is equal to omega 2, which we find to be 6.4 grams h of course you're going to need to convert this to kilograms later on um, so we've got two values at, at point two so then we can calculate okay now again looking at point two looking at figure a31 uh, the psychometric chart we've got two values here we've got t2 and w2 so therefore we know also if we can find we know H2 is equal to H3 because they're evaporating cooling process as discussed. And what you'll find here is a value of 80 48 kilojoules per kg dry air. Simply we now have at point three. Again we're going to use chart A31 because now we have H3 and we also have T3. So Therefore, um, we can simply use the chart and find the relative humidity of 0.3, which works out to be roughly 43.5%. Now, finally, looking at part B of the question, we're asked to find the amount of water added to the air in kilograms H2O per dry air. This is simply the equation the difference in specific humidity from points two to three. So oh, it's going to increase as the air is humidified. So omega three minus omega two. Okay, omega two, same as omega one known. We can find um, omega three using these two values, chart A31. We find omega three equal to 8.4 8 grams H2O per kilogram dry air um, so then simply this equation works out to be 8.4 minus 6.4 and divide all of this by 1000 to give us the value in kilograms and the answer you get is 0 0.002 kilograms H2O per kg dry air.
Thanks.